Hey, so you've converted over to an Asian washcloth, maybe because somebody proselytized you about it a lot. Maybe they were even crazy and uh, sent you one in the mail. Um, that's how hardcore they were about it. And they're like, well, what do I do with this? All right, so you're not sure what to do with these washcloths, how they're supposed to work. I'm going to show you the most effective method for getting the most out of these washcloths. Of course, the question that you're probably asking yourself is why? What's so special about these washcloths? Not just a pink, of course, all sorts of different colors. But um, what do they do? All right, well, they allow the soap to really uh, get in, for one thing. They lather up really, really well. But they exfoliate and massage way better than any other uh, cleansing product that I've ever used. And I've been using mine for like 20 years now. and, and Not this one for 20 years. Uh, but uh, but you, can, you can wash them and reuse them, and they last a long time. But they, they, the word invigorating is often used with cleaning products, right? Um, but with this one, it really does feel invigorating for your skin. Uh, you know, they make the, the spongy, scrunchy type scrubbing cloths, and those do a fine job and, and everything like that, and, and those are fine, but they just don't. Man, I'm telling you, these things dig in in a way that no, nothing else really does. And at first, if you're if you're not used to it, the first couple of times you use it, it it's almost going to feel too rough. Uh, but you'll learn to uh, trust me. It stick with it. It's actually really really nice. It just really exfoliates well, and actually, it's it's like a massage. It's like a deep tissue massage for your for your dermis, right? So um, I would I would give it a try. Stick with it. But uh, the, the question of like how to really make use of this, I mean, there's advantages. So the the length when you would get it out of the bag, it's it's really long, right? And um, it's really big. I like to keep it folded in half lengthwise, and then I work it a different way. The advantage to this is scrubbing your back, right? You can get it behind you like this, and you can do this this business right here. Ah, oh, so fantastic. And uh, just really, really gets you, allows you to scrub your back very, very thoroughly. Um, so that's that's one of the advantages. But two, um, like I said, it just lathers up and it just digs in really, really well. So I'm gonna show you how to soap it up the best way um, to get the most lather that you can out of it and uh, how to soap it up the right way, right? All right, so after you get your sponge wet, your, your washcloth wet, uh, you're just get, really gonna get it wet because it's 100% uh, it's, it's plastic. I think the package is 60% nylon, 40% polyester, or vice versa. So it's, it's basically all plastic, right? But then again, so are those, uh, those, uh, those poof sponges, right? They're, they're, they're all just uh, synthetic, plastic uh, fibers, but that's what allows them to keep their shape so that they uh, are very, very scratchy and very, very exfoliating. Those are good things. All right, so you, you get it mildly wet, and I'm a bar soap user, okay? So I use bar soap, but if you were to do this with uh, a liquid soap, if you're a liquid soap person, I just have a little bottle of lotion here. Um, uh, you want it laid out like this, folded in quarters lengthwise, and I do this up against the shower wall, actually. So I, I hold it up against the shower wall while I'm standing in the shower. And I, and I just, what I, what I would do is this right here, right? So if I were using liquid soap, it would be one stripe here. Then um, take it over, fold it that to the inside. And then one stripe on top. And then fold it like this. And now you're going to use it like this. I actually would grab it here and use it kind of like a... A washcloth like this. So you've got a layer on the inside and a layer on the outside of soap. I'm going to show you how I do it with my bar soap. And that is making the bar soap just really quick. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take my bar of soap and I, I tried to pick this is my travel one. I think it's a different color than my soap. So you can see the soap. So I just take it and just drag the soap along it like that. And you'll see that the plastic grabs onto the soap, right? You can see this. This stripe of soap on the side that I just did right there. Okay, so it's just it's just a thin uh, kind of grabbing of soap that's going on right there. And so I'm going to do that. Just just stripe it along one side like so. So now I've got a layer of soap on there. Hopefully, when I go back to look at the video, the color will come out right. So there's soap all along that. Then I'm going to take that and put that on the inside now. So I'm going to take this layer. Flip it over. So now this is going to go to the inside. And now a fresh unsoaped part is on top right here. And then I'm going to re repeat that procedure. 
And that's all the soap it takes. It doesn't take a whole lot of soap, just, just, just enough to just kind of lightly coat most of this. All right, so I've got to turn the camera back around. But, but now what I'm going to do is this, this soaked side on the outside. There's soap on the inside, soap on the outside. I'm just going to take that and fold that again. And now I've got this outer side that's got soap on it. Now I'm going to show you the lathering up process. All right, I've got my left arm moistened up for you here. Um, so my, my showering procedure is generally top to bottom, right? Start with my head and my face and then work my way down. So it uh, allows my, my skin to really absorb some water so I get a really good lather so the body goes last. And I start again from the top down, I actually start from one arm across to the shoulders to the other arm and then work my way down. And the reason I tell you that is because when I start on my arm, you'll see that the lather isn't significant at first, but you are getting it clean. You're rubbing the soap in there, all of that stuff. By the time I get across my shoulders and to the other arm, I'm starting to get a really good lather, but I'm not gonna lather this arm. I'm just gonna work this arm extra hard, okay? And, um, and then by the time you're on your torso and working your way down, you've got plenty of bubbles going. You might have to go in and just give another quick swipe if you've got a lot of surface area to cover maybe, but generally uh, by the time I get around to where I'm doing my back, I've still got plenty of soap on there. So here's the soaped up uh, version as, as you saw before. So here's the inside that doesn't have soap. Here's the outside that does have soap. I, there's the inside that does. So, so you got like a layer without, a layer with, a layer without, and then a layer with. And that's what's gonna get started on this armor here. So I'm just gonna take this like this, I'll start working it, and I have to clean all this lather off the floor. But you can already see a pretty decent little bit of small lather starting, okay? And again, that first arm is gonna look like this. And then as you get a little bit more water and spray from the shower, I'm just going to keep working the arm. Actually, you don't have to work it this hard. You just just keep going across, and then you go to. The, by the time you get to the next arm, okay, I'll add a little bit of water, just like the shower would have a little bit of extra water in there. Okay, by the time you get to the next arm, you're going to start seeing um, a more significant soapiness on the arm at that point. And again, you're going to feel it kind of digging in and uh, scratching and, and scraping the dead stuff away, which is what you want, of course. That's the whole point. Um, and then it's going to be like a little massage for your arm. It's really fantastic. So if you haven't found these, uh, you can find them online, or I tend to buy them more often than not at Asian groceries in Dallas uh, when I visit Dallas or Albuquerque when I, when I head up to those areas. But any of the larger uh, Asian grocery chains usually have those in the uh, cosmetics and cleaning section. So yeah, there you have it. How to use an Asian washcloth. I tell everybody they're, they're life-changing, and maybe that's a little a little hyperbole, but they're actually really great. Give them a try, try them for a week, and uh, I think you probably end up a convert. You know what, last bit of additional info, um, now that I'm toweling off here, is that uh, it is machine washable, um, being all polyester. I've never tried it on the hot, I haven't washed clothes in hot water in a long time just because detergents nowadays are so good you can use them in cold, right? But um, these are machine washable. When you when you finish with them, just give them a good shake, shake off all the excess water. I live in a, I live in, a, in, in the desert southwest of, of the United States and so uh, dry air, 90% of the year, very little humidity. I just hang this up like this in the, in, in, uh, along the top of the shower rod or, or even on your, 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 your towel bar back there, you can just hang it on that and let it drip dry, it'll, it'll air out. In your more humid climates, it'll air out as well too, it'll just take a little bit longer, but that's all you have to do. Um, being a, a plastic product, it shouldn't grow mold or anything like that, it should be completely safe. But you know, every couple of months, throw it in the washing machine or more often if you, think, if you feel you need to, but you know, but it's, it's a really great product. So um, like I said, try it for a week or so, see what you think.